Geologists use radioactive dating to determine the age of different materials, such as rocks, fossils, and animal remains. In order to understand radioactive dating, you must understand the concept of half-life, which is the amount of time it takes for half of the atoms of a given radioactive substance to decay. Many elements exist in different isotopes, which are atoms of the same element that have the same amount of protons and electrons, however they have a different amount of neutrons in the nucleus, resulting in a different atomic mass. In the case of carbon, carbon-12 is the most common. It is a stable isotope of carbon. Some isotopes are unstable or radioactive, and will decay into other elements, such as carbon-14 which will decay into nitrogen-14. Carbon-14 has a half-life of 5,730 years, meaning that if there are 500 atoms of carbon-14 in a substance today, in 5,730 years, there will be 250 atoms of carbon-14 and 250 atoms of nitrogen-14. The process of using carbon dating is used to date organic materials. When an organism dies, it retains a fixed ratio of carbon-14 to carbon-12. As time passes, the carbon-14 decays into nitrogen-14 without being replenished. The nitrogen-14, which is a gas, escapes into the atmosphere. Geologists can test for the amount of carbon-14 present in the remains of an organism and compare it to the known ratio of carbon-14 to carbon-12. They will be able to tell how much carbon-14 has decayed since the death of the organism. Because geologists know the half-life of carbon-14, they can figure out how long it took for the original amount of carbon-14 to decay into the amount that the remains currently have. Carbon dating has been used to date the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Shroud of Turin, as well as Otzi the Iceman. It has allowed us to create the chronology of the ancient civilizations, such as the Egyptian dynasties. There are many other types of radioactive dating used for different substances and different reasons, but all types of radioactive dating depend on the half-life of a specific radioactive element or a radioactive isotope of an element. Thank you for watching.